Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, welcome back to another video lesson. Now, in this video lesson, I'm gonna do a tutorial, navigating your way through the Thinkorswim platform by TD Ameritrade. I'm gonna be doing a series of videos over the next couple weeks on the platform and how to do certain functions, okay? So this is mainly for people who are new to Thinkorswim, okay? Because I understand when you first join the platform, it can become overwhelming. So I'm gonna be doing a series of small little training video lessons on how to navigate the platform. Now, in this video lesson, I'm gonna talk about trend lines, price levels, how to zoom in and out, how to save styles, add text, and much, much more. So if you're new to the Thinkorswim platform and you're overwhelmed, then this video lesson's for you, okay? So if that sounds good, then number one, subscribe to the channel. Two, hit that little bell to be notified whenever I shoot a brand new video. And three, if you like this video, please like it, make a nice comment. Doesn't cost you a thing and only takes a couple seconds, okay? So sit back and enjoy this think or swim tutorial video lesson for me, number one. Hey, what's going on everybody? Hey, welcome back to another training video lesson. All right, so we are inside the Thinkorswim platform, and I'm gonna show you a couple cool tricks in this video. Mainly, it's how to navigate the different, the different items on the menu, how to zoom in, and stuff like that. Okay, so right now, you wanna go to charts, and you should by now already have watched the video lesson on how to set up your charts, okay? So what I wanna share with you is, up here, well, let's, yeah, up here at the top, you have these different items. So share, what you can do is if you actually want to share your chart with somebody, you can literally hit share and it's gonna send you a link and you can share it to them. And they're gonna be able to go up here to set up, open shared item and paste that link, hit preview and import it and they're gonna actually be able to get your chart. So if you set up your charting package, somebody's struggling, you can literally just go to share, share, hit the share button, and you can name it, okay? And then it's gonna send you a link, you're gonna copy that link, send it to them. They're gonna go to setup, open shared item, paste it, import, simple as that, okay? Now, right here, don't worry about that. Edit studies, okay. Well. Here's a couple things. Number one is this little, I guess it's an hourglass, edit studies, studies. They're the same thing. So I can go to studies, edit studies, put up there, or I can click this hourglass, edit studies. And you should have by now already know what this is. So right here's the little wheel, okay? Now, I'll probably do another video lesson specifically on the wheel, because I want to keep these short and right to the point. So right here, time frame. You can schedule your, well, set up your time frame. So one year daily, you can hit customize, you can edit, you can add a time frame. So right now I would just do the one year, one day. No problem. Don't worry about styles yet. Drawing items. Okay. So here's where we're going to go to drawing items. You're going to go to drawing tools and a couple things. When you go here to this little hand, now one of the things I want to show you is down. Let me get my little tool here really quick. I got this tool the other day and I'm super excited about it. So let me just open up this tool to share with you. All right, so what I did was we're going down here to the bottom. Okay, so one of the things, again, you can go to drawing items, you got the hand. Now, down here at the bottom, you can literally click there and it's the same tool. So it's just a faster way, whether you wanna go up here, go on drawing items, or you just wanna go down here in the bottom, you can see the same. So when you click on the drawing item, if you just hold anywhere in the chart, left click, you can move it around, okay? Easier to see. Now, you go back to drawing items. When you go to this little arrow, you left click and hold it and you can zoom in, okay? So then you can go down here to the bottom, you can move the chart and if it's too high, you can go get the little hand and just move it down, okay? Now you can't zoom in with the hand, you have to actually go back to the arrow. And if I wanted to zoom in from the top, I would just go over the top, left click, hold it down, and then 
One of the things too, guys, if you go over here to the side on the far right, you see how it goes from a arrow to like up and down lines. You can hold the left click, like left click your mouse, hold it, and just move up or down. It expands it. So you can always make the chart to fit what you like. So I would expand it. Oh, it's too high. I can grab the hand, move it down, okay? So another thing I want to share with you is in drawing items. Oh, if you want it to go back to normal, at any time you just right click, auto zoom. Right click, auto zoom, it goes back out. And then you can hold here. You can go like that. You can get the hand. Now, for some reason like this, look, the hand, it's as far as it goes. So what if you wanted to go to the right more? You can always click here to this little wheel. You go to a uh, I think it's favorite time frame or no, time axis. See how it says bars to the right? It's 159 bars to the right. That's why it's so far over. So you click that. You can go to here, time axis, and I'm just going to do 20 and then hit apply. Boom. See how now it's back over here. Now I can take my little hand and move it around, okay? And then if I want to zoom in, I go back to the arrow and zoom in. So drawing items, right here, you've got this little line right here. This is a trend line, okay? So you'll see when you start learning in the course, when you're drawing support and resistance, you can see it's orange, okay? I can draw lines. I just, anywhere on here, I can left, and then I can just kind of move it around. You can draw these lines connecting highs and lows, okay? So you can go down here. I can draw lines here. Boom, okay? Support and resistance, right? We're going to talk all about that, or in the course you'll learn that. So if you want to clear it, I don't want to clear all of it, but you would right-click, and you would hit Clear Drawing Set, and it's going to remove all the drawings. I don't want to remove that because this is what I teach for class. So I'm just going to do them individually. Right-click, Remove Drawing. Right-click, Remove Drawing. Right-click, Remove Drawing, okay? Now, another thing you can do, that's the diagonal. You got this right here, where it's the dollar sign price level. This is if you go anywhere at the bottom, you can left click, boom, it draws a line. Now, what I want you to do is, yours doesn't look like this, you're going to hit right click, edit. Left extension off, right extension on. You can show price, you can change colors, you can change style, you can change width. So the reason why, if I remove it, when I go like this, it goes across the holes because I have extension on. If I go like this, boom. You can see these lines up here. We're going to draw support levels, right? So as you start to go through the course and you start learning about support and resistance, you can draw lines like that. If you want to get rid of them, remove, remove, remove. Now, again, normally I would clear everything, but I don't want to do that because I got some lines. Okay, and again, now I can go down here to the bottom. Don't worry about this. Text level, you can just go to that left click and then you can write. And then you can hit OK. Boom, and it'll draw text on your screen. Right click, remove drawing. All right, go back here. Right here, oval, you can click that. So then you can pick anywhere, like anywhere you want to draw a circle. And I would say like out here, you left, and then you just, you don't have to hold it. You just click left, then you move it, boom. Left, let go and move it, boom, you can draw a circle. And if you want to edit it, you right click, edit, and you can change colors, right, to anything you want, okay? I like mine green, so I'm just gonna remove drawing, move drawing, again, now I go back down here. You can do the same, but with a, a box, right? A box, left click, you don't have to hold it, it'll just move, Oof, we can draw a box, okay? Add the color, all that. So let me right click, Remove, right click, remove. Now, let's go back to drawing items. A couple more. We're not going to get into too much detail about the Fibonacci's and all that stuff, but the main thing is what you need to know is this little hand allows you to move it right here, up and down. And you can do that down here too. See when it has that little line, you can hold it left, up and down, or you can right click, auto zoom. Oop, that auto zooms everything. So again, let's say, oh no, we want to zoom back in. Go to the top, left click, hold it, go like that, take the hand. Again, you practice, right? Practice. 
Okay, and then you can move it up, you can move it down. Good to go. We've already talked about study, so you should know that by now. Don't worry about patterns. That's kind of the main thing, guys. I think I talked about Lincoln already. If not, I will in another video. So that's pretty much how you navigate, right? Drawing support lines, drawing resistance lines, drawing uh, these horizontal lines, right? Cool thing, and expanding your chart. Now, another thing I will say is down here at the bottom, you see it has this little zoom in. If you click it, it zoom in. And you're like, oh, so you take the hand, left click anywhere, and you can just move it, right? Move it. If you want to zoom out, you click this little thing down here, zoom out. And then if you're like, oh, I don't like it, right click, auto zoom, boom, goes back. You can go like this, and go down, then you can go back to your thing, left click, hold, and you can just left click, zoom in. There you go. So that's pretty much it, guys. The drawing items here, all that good stuff. Style. So once you get your chart, I'm not sure if I covered this, but once you get your charts the way you want, then you just go to style, and you're going to go to save style. You're going to name it, and you're going to click that right there. Include patterns and study set. You need to do that. Name it. So you might name it main study set, wealth zone study set, Facebook group, whatever. But you have to click that and then you click save. So when you go over here to your styles, you can just go to load styles and you can load up any of your styles, okay? So you can actually save it as a style. And again, if it's too far to the right, click that little wheel, go to, and I'm gonna, I'll probably do a separate video specifically on this. And then you just go to the right, boom, and then hit apply. There you go. All right, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed that training video lesson, and we'll see you inside of the next video lesson. Hey, thanks for watching my video tutorial on the Thinkorswim platform. If you enjoyed that content, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell to be notified whenever I shoot a brand new video, and make a nice comment if you haven't done so yet. Now, this was a video tutorial, but I have tons of videos on strategies, right? How do we trade? Right, what's the most appropriate strategy for when the market's at support? Or what is the appropriate strategy when a market's at resistance? So make sure you check out my TTM Squeeze playlist and all my other videos related to strategy. And if you want to know, uh, if you want some information on the Ready and Fire Pro or the Squeeze Pro, down below you should see a link to Simpler Trading. I am affiliated with Simpler Trading, and you can see all the bonuses that I give. So if you get those indicators through my link, I'm going to hook you up with all those bonuses that are in the description below. All right, everybody. Thanks again for watching. That's the bell. We'll see you inside the next video lesson.